Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at these two packs from Star Wars Resistance. Each one is a character with a droid companion. We have Poe Dameron with BB-8 and Jarek Yeager with Bucket. And you actually get to see his number designation there, R3B7. I'm not sure if they've ever mentioned that on the show or not. Uh, love the artwork on the cards. I think this style of card is really cool. I like the white with the pop of blue for color. And the artwork is really, really nice as well. Um, so these are $14.99 each. I've only seen them at Target. I have not seen them anywhere else, so they might be cheaper if they ever pop up at Walmart. I could see Walmart selling these for something like $12.95 or something like that. Uh, $14.99 for each of these just seems a bit much to me when you think of the fact that the standard size figure is like $7.99. Um, that would make these almost double. And while they're nice figures, I just don't feel like a droid by itself with no accessories is worth the same as a normal figure that has like a helmet and a gun. Just my opinion. Uh, but these are the only two out there like this so far. I don't know if these were, like I said, they wanted to get these characters out there. And so they just kind of created this two pack uh, packaging and then threw it out at Target for a limited time. I don't know if they're going to continue this size class. Or how that's going to work out. I don't really know what others would really make sense to be in this. Because these are kind of the two most prominent droids from the show. I guess they could try to come up with some kind of first order droid. With some officer or something like that. Time will tell. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Um, but I definitely think the figures are going to be good. I just, I really do feel like if these were to eventually pop up at Walmart. They could be more like $12.50. And I feel like that would be a much better price point. Because I completely understand that they need to be more than the normal price of $8. But I feel like, you know, 12 is like one and a half of a normal figure. And a, and a droid to me, I mean, Bucket's kind of big. But bb 8s super tiny. I love BB-8. Nothing against them, but he's super tiny. <laughs> or at least give him an accessory or something. I don't know. I don't know what accessory you'd have. Anyway, getting off this point. So packaging is cool. Mine's a little smashed. It's the only one they had. You can see the bubble. A little busted there even the cardboard's a little busted and then the back of each of these just shows off the other one because like i said only two in the size class right now but let's go ahead let's get them out of the packaging here and let's take a closer look here they are out of the packaging i will say that hasbro does a great job with the detailing and the paint applications they're fairly simple figures but they do look good now you might say, hey, why does he have white dots on his head? That's just light reflecting off his incredibly shiny eyebrows and hair. So <laughs> he's just a little shiny. But again, I think the face looks good. Nice likeness there, considering the animation and everything. I like what they did. Heads on a ball joint. So you have real limited up and down, but certainly side to side, no problem. You have the normal shoulder and uh, hip movement. That's all you get. Uh, he does have a pretty cool little pistol. Wish he had a holster on the side of his leg. But other than that, he looks good. Comes with a kind of soft plastic helmet that you just slide over top of his head. I think it looks good. Nice paint detailing. I like him with his helmet on. So we'll pop him back over here. Uh, BB-8 looks really good. He's definitely a super tiny droid. But they did really nailed the paint applications. And I like the way his head works. It must be like a ball joint or something that he's attached to because you, you get that sense that like the head rolls around. It can go all the way around, which is great. So the, I don't know exactly how it works. I've been trying to figure it out, but it looks good and really nice paint applications. And also, I appreciate that he doesn't just fall right over. He can actually keep his balance. So that's excellent as well. Uh, next up, we have Jaeger. Again, he's got kind of shiny eyebrows, but the face sculpt looks good. Head looks good. Paint applications, he's got all the same articulation. Again, cool little blaster, but I wish he had a holster. Otherwise, pretty normal there. Now, he comes with a helmet as well. Unfortunately, you can't just fit it over top of his head. Very much like Tora Doza, you have to take the head off. And I will say that it works a lot easier than it did with her. Because it's kind of a larger neck stem, if that makes sense. So it's a little bit more stable. So you can move it around very easily once it's connected. But I will say with her helmet, you could actually, they put in like a set of eyes. You could see her face behind the visor. They didn't do that with him. I'm assuming they meant to just make it opaque and you just know he's in there. But it just, it doesn't look right. It's like a Master Chief helmet for this guy. And it just, it doesn't fit in my opinion style-wise. So I'm probably just going to leave the normal head on. 
but at least it's a lot easier to change back and forth. I just don't think this helmet fits him. It just, it looks weird in my opinion. And he also, he has a little bit of a trouble standing. His legs are just, you kind of have to make sure his weight is shifted correctly so he doesn't fall over. But where this set really shines is Bucket. First of all, he looks great. Paint detailing, so great. It's just everything about this guy they nailed. The head cannot move at all, I'm assuming because of how the the helmet is precariously perched on top of his very minor head. But he's got a ball joint here, right here in his leg. And also, you can pull this part down, the third leg, and then you can pull these back and these will tilt. So he has tiltable uh, ankles here so that you can tilt that and then tilt this so that he can roll. Which I think is fantastic. That's really great. I love that quite a bit. And then you just go ahead, push it back up, and then straighten out the legs. So I love that. I love that you can have them in both configurations. I can't tell you how many R2 figures I have where it's like one or the other. I did have one where you had to, I think back in the Power of the Force days, there was like a leg you could pull out, but the other ones, you couldn't tilt them, so it didn't quite work. This is just so simple, and it just works so well. And like I said, paint applications, all the molded in detail looks great. So I would say, as far as are these sets worth 15 bucks, I still feel like not really. I would make a better chance for this one. And again, nothing against BB-8. He's just very small and rather simple. Whereas this guy is bigger, has the extra like uh, foot tilting gimmick. You know, he can go from two leg to three leg configuration. So he's a little bit more intricate. I still feel like 15 a piece for these sets is a little high, but I don't think it's like terribly overpriced or outrageous. I just feel like probably something like 12 would be a little bit more, you know, consistent in my opinion. But then again, when I look at the kind of normal uh, figures they have in that Kenner line, uh, same size class, just with, you know, more articulation and things like that, those figures are something like $13 a piece, which I definitely think is too high. Uh, so I guess just the price of Star Wars figures, maybe the licensing costs went up or something like that, because it just seems like across the board, Star Wars figures are a little bit more than they need to be. I still think these are good. Uh, if you wanted to wait for a sale or wait and see if they pop up at Walmart for a little bit cheaper, that's up to you guys. Uh, but I definitely think they're fun figures and they're worth collecting, even if they are a tad bit more than I think they're worth. Maybe if you can wait for a sale or a coupon or something like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.